Race nine, this is a really good race. It's over a thousand metres, it's a class two. It's got the track record over, holder over a thousand metres in it in Valiant Dream and he draws barrier number six. Ping High Bravo's at the top, he's a four time winner down the straight. Super Wealthy has joined the David Hayes barn who's removed the cheek pieces, the hood and the crossover nose band. Gold Chest is a two time winner, first up from a spell. Trillium win, one on debut and look good in a recent trial as well. Further down we've got Private Rocket up in grade. Winner Method coming back in trip from the 1200 to the 1000, but he has won three times down the straight with a second. And We the South for Wagner Borges and Frankie Law. Just his third start at Sha Tin, but he has raced very well normally at Happy Valley over this trip, Tom. Yeah, I think the speed comes here from Winner Method. Valiant Dream will be there, and Lucky Moore I think probably be somewhere near there as well. He's drawn towards the outside rail in gate 10. Hong Kong wins actually drawn on the outside rail in gate number 11. There's a horse at the back there, Paul, super wealthy. I think he'll be quite a bit handier uh, in the run. Yeah, they've taken all the gear off of me. He, he used to wear a lot of gear with the, when he was with Douglas White. He's now David Hayes, and he's they've taken everything. It's so nature intended. He's uh, racing uh, there, and uh, I agree with you. I think he might be a little bit handier than that. We the South's another horse that can race handy. Um, Gold Chess won this race last year, and Trillion Win. He won't be too far away from the, the speed either. He's normally pretty handy, and he was in his most uh, recent uh, trial where he was held together, winning over Naboo Attack. We're going to start with an interview with the rider of Super Wealthy in Blake Shin. Blake's got a super strong book of rides at Sha Tin on Sunday and Super Wealthy is just one of them. Super Wealthy going around in race number nine, a, a horse that in recent weeks you've had a bit to do with as well in track work and trials. Um, how do you feel he's currently going? Uh, look, I think he's going great. I, um, I couldn't be more happier with how he's, he's um, training um, since joining uh, David Hazer's stable. He's just really thriving in his work, he loves his training, he's a really professional horse, um, he trialled lovely on the dirt, his subsequent work uh, since his trial has been you know, first class, so you know, I love the horse, I think he's going to run a great race. He um, did wear quite a bit of headgear but I noticed David's taken all that headgear off him, do you think that's been a benefit to him? Well I'm not, look I'm not really sure, you know, you can just judge the horse by by the feeling that, that we're getting, and he's a he's a big horse. He's um, he's growing in confidence every every day in, in the stable, and um, you know I've got a really good feeling about the horse as the whole team does. And um, I'm hoping. Look, he's untried at a thousand in Hong Kong and in his whole in his whole life, but his trial on the dirt was really good, and off a fast speed, I'm sure he's going to be attacking the line. In his past runs, he's sort of had the, the odd tendency to do things wrong at the start and get up in the air and miss it. Has he shown sort of any inkling of that at all in, in that most recent trial? No, he hasn't. He, he jumped well. Uh, we even jumped him out down the back straight. Um, he jumped out beautifully. Um, everything the horse has done is has been like a, like a really good horse. So I'm hoping that he can stand up for us on the weekend and, and deliver. There's no reason why he won't. So... It's exciting to see what he can do. Do you like his trial, Tom? Absolutely. He went to the line under a good hold there, Mark. And I think you know, if, if the fast tempo comes like it's probably predicted to normally down the straight over a thousand metres, he's going to be very hard to beat. Yeah, look, I, I didn't quite get him in because the thousand was a little query for me uh, with him. And this is a really good race. He's a few season thousand metre horses. But look, it wouldn't surprise if he ran really well because we, we have seen the ability from this horse in the past. We're going to focus on him again right now. Now, this is back in April last time and it was around the bend, not down the straight like he'll compete in on Sunday. There he is out there three wide. We've also got gold chest in the back half of the field there, the last two in fact, Tom, so we pick it up and he's covered plenty of ground here, does uh, Super Wealthy. He does, so he had a clear excuse, this was his last start, so, so back in the, the middle part of uh, April, and look he was only beaten three quarters of a length on this occasion by uh, Hinch and Love and uh, you'll see here uh, in the straight he gets um, uh, coming into the straight uh, here, he's uh, Covered a lot of ground, um, gets a little bit of a bump here because uh, the horse, I think, towards the inside, Silver Express, comes out and hampers uh, Roman Turbo just about here. So it does get uh, sort of knocked off his stride a, a little bit and a, a bit of a bump there, Paul, but it was a, a massive effort considering. Yeah, really good effort. Uh, again, the query, this is a 1,400 metre race, isn't it? So we just there's a that little bit of an unknown over 1,000 metres, but it was, as you said, a terrific run from him. And Gold Chest, the other one that uh, I think he's better down the straight 1,000, and he did win this race last year, didn't he? 
and he did it off, uh, well, 1,103 pounds. He's dropped 12 pounds mm. coming into it. What I, what I said, hard to beat before for super wealthy. Probably wrong choice of words, but I, I think with a solid speed, he'll be he'll be right there. And here is Gold Chess. Speaking of him, uh, Paul running down the straight uh, recently, uh, last season, but he's also got an excellent record first up. That's the thing, right? And he, look, he's dropped down in the ratings as well. He's now down to a rating 86. So he's a, a lower rating than when he did win this race last season. Uh, we know he goes well fresh. So look, I did find a spot for him because I think a thousand metres down the straight is his go. His efforts last start actually wasn't too bad uh, back on the, the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. uh, that was behind Mr Snowden. The form stacked up out of that race, of course, because uh, California deep shots come around and turn the tables on Mr Snowden. But um, fresh record, he's hard to leave out. Those colours went so close on Wednesday night too with... Uh Resolute just grabbing Hart Concord near the line. Now, this is a strong trial, Tom. This is Trillian Win over here, who did win on debut. Uh, he comes out of this trial, as does Ping High Bravo. His trials have been terrible, but proven down the straight. And, of course, that horse there is Nabu Attack, who's already come out and won in scintillating fashion. Yeah, absolutely. I wasn't really sure what to make of the, the trial of Ping High Bravo. He's dropped quite a bit of weight, though, the horse. He's dropped 38-odd pounds. Uh, but he was tailed off in basically both of his trials. But Trillian, when he definitely needs to go and Paul, and I think he'll be, if he's not on the speed, because there is alternate yeah. speed in the race, he'll be just behind it. I think he will be just behind it. Look, this horse did win over 1,000 fresh up here in Hong Kong. Uh, he goes really well down the straight 1,000. It was a strong troll, as, as we talked about. Look, he, he's barrier seven. Alexi knows the horse. And look, I'm going to go with him. I, I think in a really strong race, he's the one I'm going to go there with. There was one little misdemeanor in that trial. He was a little bit awkward away from the start, which is a little bit uncharacteristic for him. And of course, he did run Kuri Wonder to half a length last year. So he's got the right form around uh, the good horses. We're going to head north now. He's Chungfa. And this is Private Rocket Paul in a trial down the back straight. Yeah, I don't know if this is the right race for Private Rocket. Um, he hasn't won fresh up in the past. He's been placed, to be honest. Uh, look, he's, he, his good runs, I thought, were over coming up to 1,400 metres. So another one that's not really suited by the straight 1,000. I think he'll be running on late. He will be. And it was a blanket finish in this trial. You can see him buried on the inside there. He's been able to poke his uh, nose in front and uh, he was pushed out towards the line. His effort last start uh, over the... Uh, 1,200 metres of the all-weather was enormous because he was tailed off and he really mm. flashed home late. He never looked like a, a chance to run a place at all uh, at the top of the straight, but he picked up late. But I, I do have a few question marks about this race. Jerry Chow with success already down the straight this season for Douglas White with first responder last Sunday. Winner method. We thought Red Majesty on Tuesday's show was short, Paul. When he came up at 1.2... Someone's launched into this one early. It's come up at one. Yeah, it's just it's a, it's just a little bit skewed the market at this stage. But this horse is, is one of the main chances, there's no question. He comes in with a light weight. Uh, look, he, he won his first three in a row, and then he's run second in his last two. Uh, and they've both been pretty good. He's run up against Carroll Street there. He has won fresh in the past. Uh, and with the lightweight, look, he, he's, he's in for me. He's hard to ignore. Uh, nothing wrong with the trial. He was up on the speed and led and uh, won well. The, the format of that Diamond Brilliant race has stacked up pretty well too because uh, I'm a single man's come out and won. Uh, big fortunes come out and won. So that last form race of his has stacked up OK too. And just a reminder too, on Wednesday night, winning method was the late scratching at the gates. This is winner method. So they do sound similar, but they are two very different horses. Paul, don't get them mixed up. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be a commentator with those two, <laughs> would you? But look, I'm going to go with Trillium Win as we talked about earlier. I just think this horse is 1,000 metres. 1,200 is OK, but fresh up 1,000 looks ideal for him. There's a lot of pace. He can sit just in behind that pace. A uh, winner method, uh, the one we just saw, I think is the hardest to beat coming up. I think he's quite a progressive horse, so he's coming through the grades. Gold Chest is well rated at the moment. Did win this race last year. Now, Valiant Dream's one we haven't talked about, but he's got the record over the 1,000 metres. We know he's a very speedy horse as well. He's going to be right on the pace as well. So he's another one. And look, it's full of depth, this race. I haven't found a spot for Super Wealthy, but he's a real interesting runner to see how he goes as well. And other horses like Hong Kong Win, who's got a good fresh up record. But 7, 10, 6 and 3 for me in the end, Tom. I'll take a little chance with uh, Super Wealthy. He's not done course and distance in the past, so this horse, but just like the way he's trialled, they've taken all the gear off him, he's gone to a new stable. So we'll see what he can do. And, uh, you'll probably get a, a half-decent price. You are at the moment anyway. The market's a bit skew with, but 28s and 1.9 at the moment. Trillion win, he'll be right there. Uh, Winner method is the other one I think needs to be included. That was a, a massive effort with a big weight last time out. Uh, he really fought hard. And Gold Chess with his uh, fresh up record, uh, 2, 7, 10 and 6. That's leaving a horse like Lucky Moore out. I wasn't really sure what to do with him. He's got breathing issues. Uh, Lucky Moore, and he's another horse that has gone well in the past course and distance. But those breathing issues concern me a little.